another makeup tutorial. I expressed my interest actually in my last video for the Disney collection, which I'm super, super excited to do. This is the ColourPop collab with Disney. It is called It's a Princess Thing. It is an eyeshadow palette and it's really beautiful actually. All the colors in here are actually pretty nice. They're definitely not like the natural colors that I typically go towards. So yeah, if you're interested, definitely keep watching. Okay, so time to get into the palette. I'm so excited because I've grown up loving Disney so much. So I figured I'd show you the packaging first. It's very nice. Um, it actually comes in this gold cover and it has all the princesses signatures etched into it and the palette looks like this it's really really beautiful it looks like um the designers designed the princesses like own dresses it's definitely not the original dresses from the movies but it's pretty cool because they look like fashion models here and not all the princesses are here actually um my favorite is rapunzel i have this mug right here with me today. I need to remember to stay hydrated. It's really cute. Um, she's definitely my favorite princess, but she's not in the palette, but I still love all the other princesses. They're mostly like the original Disney princesses. Okay, so in the actual palette, um, so the first row are all matte shades and the second and third are shimmers and they're, they're pretty, some of them are pretty glittery as well. Um, but they have names like Chip, Prince Charming, Fairy Godmother, Grumpy, Beast, Magic Carpet, Poison Apple. So some really pretty cool names. They're not all Disney princess names. So they're like items or other characters from the movies as well. So I'm free to get started. So if you'd like to know how I did the rest of my makeup, I'll leave a link down below. So first we're doing Chip. Um, we're gonna put that just on our uh, crease as well as a little bit on our eyelid just for like a base and then we're gonna go in with grumpy it's like a pinky brown neutral color and I'm gonna hopefully put the Triton color which is a little bit darker of a brown and uh, or nude color on top of grumpy and that's gonna be in the crease line And it's important to know I already um, put some concealer on my eye. And I actually put some like on my eyelid as well. Okay, next we are going in with Grumpy. Kind of just building the color. I will take Triton now. And because I don't want it to be like too, too far over, it's already far over enough. Um, I like to brush like inwards. Look at her, she came to say hi. She's being a good girl. Just chilling here. Um, Hercules, if he was in here, he'd be a little bit crazy and loud, but I think Nella will be okay. This is perfect for this tutorial. I have a Rapunzel doll in here and Nala was just trying to get her, so hopefully she won't eat my stuffed animals. <laughs> this is a good base, so next I want to deepen it up a little bit though. So I'm gonna take a Boo, that's the darkest brown, and take a different brush and kind of um, on the outer corner of my eye, kind of deepen that up. And next, I am actually gonna do like a cut crease. So I'm gonna use my uh, Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. And I'm just gonna take a brush to um, put it on the rest of my eye. Okay, so I just did the cut crease. Um, on both sides, so ready to move on to putting on powder 
on where I just put on concealer, so on the lids. Um, eventually, One Kiss and Ray. So I'm gonna put um, One Kiss on the entire lid, mostly on the inner and outer corners, and then I'm gonna put Ray in the middle, um, just, just kind of brighten up the middle. So going in right now with One Kiss, it's very sparkly. Um, also, I would recommend to put like some sort of spray, like, um, or, or wet the brush, just so it picks up all and leaves the sparkles on. <clears throat> that way I don't think there'll be as much fallout. Okay, now I'll go in with Ray. Okay, so finished with the two, the lids. They look pretty cool. I actually put Ray on the entire lid over one kiss, and I think that it looks a little bit a little better for the look. Um, I put eyeliner on. It is Maybelline Define a Line. It's very dark, so I did take most of it away with a Q-tip, um, which I will probably do even more. Um, and then I put a nude pencil on the waterline. I'm just going to put some chip below my lashes, and I am going to kind of pack it in there because this makes my eyeliner not move all day. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of Grumpy on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to take Beast, which is this color right here, and probably mix it with a Boo, and join the crease with my lid so that it, it um, looks a little bit better. Now Beast is um, a shimmer, so hopefully this will turn out okay. And then what I'll do is um, actually put Beast on the outer corner as well. And I'm going to actually put some of the Midnight Curfew, which is the sparkly black color and just take like an angled thinner brush and put it on pack it on my um eyelid instead of eyeliner okay so next i'll do highlight and i was trying to decide should i do prince charming right here or ray um they're both very sparkly, so I will try Prince Charming, and I think Ray is a little bit more subtle, so we'll try Prince Charming first. And <laughs> it's literally glitter. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but okay. That is sparkly. That's a little bit too much. <laughs> might mix Ray with it and see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. I don't think Prince Charming is gonna work on my cheeks, so I'm gonna use a little bit of Ray. And inner corners. Okay, and next I'm going to put on some mascara. Um, I always use this, it's just the CoverGirl uh, Lash Blast Volume, and it is waterproof, so it stays on all day. It's my favorite. And I'm gonna finish my lashes off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so just popped on my mascara. Um, so really all I have left to do is lips. So my favorite uh, lip liner to use, um, I usually don't change it up, is the NYX, and it's so small because I use it all the time. Um, it's called Peekaboo Neutral. So I'm gonna use that, and then I'm gonna pop on 
the Disney lipstick. So actually I'm using this as well. It's just the ColourPop Disney collection in shade Ariel, um, which is a really pretty pinky brown nude color. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I actually really like how it came out. This is the first time I'm really using the eyeshadow palette for this look. I'm really happy with it, actually. Um, it is still, it's not like too, too bright for me, which is good. I used only the palette, which is pretty awesome. Um, I know there's been a lot of reviews for this collection and I think people's main complaint was that mostly the colors were shiny or like shimmer colors and not matte. So I would say my takeaways for this palette, um, like I said, not as many matte shades as shimmers, but if shimmer is your thing and you know these mattes you're good for, um, I mean the colors are beautiful and it's kind of like party makeup, you don't need like a ton of other matte colors. I would say maybe only like a matte purple would be pretty useful here. Um, but yeah, I, I like this look. You know, it's not really the typical everyday nude palette, but I kind of like that. I mean, Disney is extra, so why not be extra too? Um, the lipstick is super, super balmy, which is really nice. So I know, I don't know how long it'll last, but it is very moisturizing at least. Um, and other than the colors, like I said, the fallout is kind of a lot. Um, you know, just the powder kind of can get everywhere. But I really liked the consistency of the eyeshadow. Um, it was very, like, I feel like everything I've tried on for ColourPop Disney Collection, everything just seems so like such quality very creamy and pigmented and it was so inexpensive as well compared to other shadow palettes so honestly i would i would buy this again and again um and of course anything with disney already has a leg up so uh, I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this look. This, you know, I don't want to call it a tutorial because I'm not a makeup artist, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you, if you do want to see any other looks, definitely let me know. I wanted to do a pink, pinky look or purple. So definitely let me know if that's something that you want to see. But other than that, thanks for watching and I will speak to you soon.